Hi, welcome back to this uh, next keynote about our new braking system on the UA770, or at least the prototype is a UA770. Uh, we are now in our development workshop um, where we do all our development and research and test new pieces of software, um, pieces of hardware, equipment, um, everything is uh, done here at Nepata and one thing that we're currently working on is that new braking system which will not be uh, dedicated to the UA770, it will also be available for UA1650 and UA1650 ADWS but uh, not before in a couple of months because it's um, still uh, under development and we just wanted to give you a, a preview today of um, why we're doing this and how you can benefit from uh, higher braking forces on the lower mandrel of the Nepata rewinders. So the UA770 is the, um, the a machine model that we have for media up to 77 centimeters or 30 inch. Uh, most of the machines run a lot of HTV, flex films, flock films, but also narrow, narrow web pressure sensitive vinyl, sign vinyl and uh, other raw media of all sorts. Sometimes um, used as a single um, unit um, at our customers often also to add up capacity um, when a large rewinder UA1650 ADWS for example is not enough anymore to cover all the capacity then the um, 770 comes into play for um, several of our customers. So the, what we did here is we um, added a new um, braking system, so a new motor for uh, braking the lower mandrel, um, and uh, which results in a much higher maximum web tension when rewinding media on that machine. And the second advantage is that it also um, gives us the opportunity to, to deaccelerate, so to break heavy rows with large diameters uh, much faster than we could or can with the current uh, braking system. Um, for the operator, the um, obvious change is that he um, has a new poti here, a new turning knob uh, with um, which the operator can control the web tension um, of the system, which I try to show you now in, uh, in this demonstration setup here. This is the role of masking tape, of application tape, and um, we are rewinding this here backwards to backwards, so with the sticky side open, so it can run free through the feeding and cross-cutting head. And uh, this setup would not be um, possible uh, with our standard machine in uh, the way I'm just about to show you. So we, um, we start the actual rewinding process and now I, I set the uh, web tension to basically zero and what we see is that here the line where the, um, the next layer tears off from the rest of the roll is, is moving around and there is not much uh, tension here on this um, on the web and now I can increase not the speed but the the web tension um, control so oh, sorry I now I exaggerated and the whole thing stopped because I braked too much um, so we see there's heavy tension here and this gives us a very tight wound roll without wrinkles or tunnels or anything. So this is a huge improvement compared to uh, the current um, system gives you a larger variety of um, possible applications to use our rewinders for. Um, the, so the operator can set the desired web tension between 0 and 10 and um, the uh, PLC in the machine and the whole uh, control system will also always provide the correct braking force depending on diameters and web speed and material thickness and all parameters like that. So the operator doesn't need to worry about um, too much, just set um, the 
desired level of web tension and then he's good to go. The result we are getting is a tight wound roll, as I said, and it's, uh, that's not only important for applications like this that might be impossible with the uh, current system, but in general, a tight wound roll um, is always beneficial. For example, if slitting is needed for, for that roll, imagine on a UA1650 ADWS, you first rewind certain amount of meters and then you want to slit that roll into pieces and there you get much uh, uh, better cuts, better um, slitting and cutting edges from a tight wound roll compared to a loose roll um, because there's less movement within the layers of uh, the material when the slitting blade is diving through the, uh, through the uh, cutting channel. Um, so the second uh, the second important thing about our new braking system is that it gives us the opportunity to to break uh, much larger rolls in a much shorter time. So uh, we are able to increase the, or we are able to improve the cycle time for rewinding media from um, large rolls from 250 meter rolls or 1,000 or uh, sorry, um, uh, 750 foot rolls. Um, significantly compared to um, what our system is able to um, to do today. And this is also something we want to show you now on our prototype and therefore we will just uh, make a short break to um, set the machine up for this preview. Okay, we are, uh, we are back from um, our break to uh, load onto this a 250 meter roll of pressure sensitive vinyl, just a normal PVC vinyl with silicone paper. Um, and we want to show you now a 10 meter rewind. Actually, the uh, prototype is not yet able to do a cross cut after the rewind, but it will be, it will be uh, rewinding 10 meters and stop very precisely at the normal cutting position. And you can uh, see the um, in what short time we can break the roll down to uh, to make it stop without unwinding uh, more layers of material, which would be the case if we do, did exactly that at the highest possible rewinding speed on a current uh, rewinder. Yeah, so what you could see is that uh, we save potentially a lot of time here for people who want to wind off these large rolls, these heavy rolls. Um, um, and of course, that's also true for the wider rewinds, the 1650s. So um, this will be um, very be beneficial if that's one of your possible applications for the future. The, um, the new braking system is actually not retrofitable on older models, so it's only available from, for new machines um, and uh, within the next couple of months. So we're not sure yet about the exact date, but uh, today we wanted to take the chance um, to give you a preview on what we're um, currently developing. So uh, any inquiries to this are uh, welcome and uh, thank you for watching today.